Good morning, everybody. It's Chris Valone, ClassicVWBugs.com, and it is, holy cow, Friday, September 27, 2019. Fall is moving right along. It just came in. The air is beautiful. It's nice and crisp in the mornings now. We've had some spectacular weather in New York. Uh, September has been phenomenal this year. Uh, last year was so wet and so just so much rain. Uh, we haven't had much rain at all uh, in September uh, this year, and it's been it's been really really nice just long stretches of, of no rain and it's just basically it's unheard of here in this area if you ever google this area I think we maybe average about 90 to 100 100 days of full Sun each year that's it so most of the time it's gray clouds and overcast and rain and mist and snow and ice and frigid weather you know so uh, yeah been absolutely beautiful so uh, vlog number 15 Damn, this is this is getting to be pretty cool. Uh, really loving it. The response has been great. Uh, I know I've been saying that each week, but I, I just every time I do a vlog, I get a really good response. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing it, guys. I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> but um, so what are we gonna talk about today? Um, so guess what's this weekend? Hell yeah, my third annual New York Vintage Air Cool Treffen, uh, Sunday, September 29th in Haverstraw, New York. And it's at uh, Bowline Park, which is Bowline one number one Bowline Plant Road in Haverstraw, New York. And uh, yeah, it, all air cooled vintage traffic guys. My car show that I put on uh, each each year now. It's in a beautiful location. It's got some great land around it. We're right on the water, uh, and there is another car show that does go on at the same time. So that makes things interesting. We have our own section for the V Dubs. And then there's another car show going on. They have some spectacular cars that also show up to that. So it keeps things interesting, and it's a good way to also bring other car people into Volkswagen land. Um, that was, you know, one of the sole purposes of doing uh, the car show. I know we go to VW shows, and you want to see just VWs, uh, but I think it's always good to bring new new people into the VW group. And we've actually gotten people who want to buy bugs through our show because they saw our show in conjunction with their, you know, car show. So uh, a lot of times, you know, with VW shows, you know, or average car shows, uh, you know, when they see a high-end VW come, they, most people don't, can't believe that they see a VW restored to such high-end. Because, uh, you know, it's, the bug was not, uh, to many class, uh, classic car owners, the bug is not, uh, to them, uh, is not a high-caliber car. But then when they see it restored to a nice high-caliber look, then they're like, hey, wow, I want a bug. So uh, always good to do that. Um, so guys, definitely come out and support this. Uh, it's $25 to get in. It's free uh, for spectators. So you can have, you know, a dozen people in your car. And uh, it's just going to be $25. Bucks. And it uh, goes to a good cause. It's called Cruising for Kids. And it always goes towards a good cause for a kid who is, is in need. Usually a kid who's got cancer. Um, a kid who's got a disease, a debilitating the disease. So it always goes to a good cause. And I'm doing it in conjunction with Neighborhood Cruisers. This is a, a local car club that's around here in Rockland. And they've been doing the show for, I think, almost 20 years. So uh, really good following they got. And uh, guys, it's just a great location. And uh, our Treffin's getting some good traction over the past uh, couple years. So we got some great trophies too. And when we judge our cars at the Treffin, um, I am not looking for anything really to say um, absolute period correctness numbers matching you know things like that correct color we you know we take that into account but it's our uh, show is it's judged based on craftsmanship you know the restoration quality of your car um, you know the tastefulness of I know how you put the car together um, you know because I see some um, some amazing custom cars that came to my show in the past years beautifully done beautifully done and, and they got awards so and I don't have many awards guys I'm gonna tell you right off the bat there's a lot of car shows out there that'll pass out 20 30 awards I don't do that I literally do the best of the best so if you do get an award from our show it will mean a lot because uh, you know a lot of shows they just pass out awards because you participated and uh, that's not the way uh, I run so um, and we got some really cool awards too that you know they're very meaningful uh, they look awesome 
Uh, so really come out. I hope to see you guys there. New York Vintage Air Cool Treff in this Sunday, September 29th. Uh, show starts at 8 and goes to about 3 o'clock. Uh, I try to do trophies around 2. Um, so judging starts at around 10.30 and ends at around 12. So I uh, try to get there uh, on time so um, you know we can judge your car. And uh, it's at a beautiful location, guys. It's right on the water and it looks really nice. So a New York Vintage Air Cool Treff and my wife will be there. And uh, she'll have a table out selling our Mutts and Bugs coffee. Uh, so if you guys want to uh, definitely come to the show and you want to buy a bag of uh, two pound bag of whole bean coffee, please uh, please come right over to her. She's gonna have a table out, and it'll be uh, five dollars cheaper at the show. So pretty cool. And again, that goes to a good cause too, guys. I, I don't make any money on the show. I don't make any money on the uh, hardly any money on the uh, the coffee. Uh, all that money from the show goes to the the, the cruiser for kids, and then the 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 money from the bags of coffee. Uh, help to uh, help a sheltered animal, help an animal find a good home, uh, you know, a good family. You know, we there's millions of dogs that are abused and, you know, uh, they're either terminated because uh, they can't find a home. And so this helps a little doggy go to a good home. And, you know, that's, uh, that's what our mission is. So Mutts and Bugs Coffee will be at the show. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, and uh, I hope to see you Sunday. So very, very cool. So What's been happening in the Volkswagen world? I don't know if you guys saw a couple weeks ago, bringatrailer.com, you know, I always bring up uh, that website from time to time. I think they're doing an excellent job uh, as far as the auction format goes and selling your vehicle. Uh, they got a good vetting process on that website, uh, which is really good. They'll vet your car basically before you, you put it up. You can't just, you know, launch the car like you can on eBay or some other sites. They want to do some homework and history on your car and they'll give you their evaluation of what your car is worth before you throw it up. So if you're way off the mark for what they think it's going to go for, they probably will not list your car on their website. Uh, so they don't want, uh, you know, auctions to end without sales, you know, they, and that's the problem with eBay. Like over 90% of the auctions for cars on eBay do not sell because everyone's reserve is way too high. And it rarely ever hits the reserves. You know how many times I've seen cars listed and relisted on eBay? Especially, I, I just, I get alerts for the Volkswagens on eBay. And it's just unbelievable how many times cars keep getting relisted on eBay. And uh, that hurts you even more. The more it keeps getting relisted on eBay, it's just that. Um, you ask a ton of questions about the car. What's wrong with this car? Um, but if you did follow that auction a couple weeks ago uh, on bring a trailer that's 79 convertible 178 mi original miles that's it so basically that car was pushed and pulled out of the dealership just for show and uh it went for $55,555 how does it land on that you know play those numbers um so I uh, yeah, man, that's crazy stuff. I keep seeing that. Uh, so pretty remarkable. Um, but then I see other guys that try to follow that, and they launch their 78 or 79 that might not have as low as miles or might have been restored, and they do 11, 12,000 or something. You know, it's really, it's really amazing. Um, 500, yeah, 55,555 miles. Unbelievable. That's, that's, I don't know if that's a record for a 78 or 79. I, I think maybe one might have beat, maybe went over 60 grand at one time. I don't know. Uh, but that's, that's some good money for a late car. Um, but again, 178 miles. What do you do with that car? Do you, do you drive it? I don't, that's a car you look at. That's a car that's in a dealership. That's a car that's in a showroom. Um, I mean, to me, it wasn't the most attractive car either. I mean, it was silver with like a black top. Um, you know, there was really no pop to it at all. Uh, so I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, I'll probably have a link in the, in the description below to that, that past auction. I'll also have a link in the description to my show this weekend and the coffee and all that stuff. So uh, if you guys got any questions to any of these, you know, of course you can pop me uh, an email. Um, you know, through YouTube or, or whatever my email address. So, 
but uh but yeah pretty cool i mean that those cars the rare unrestored cars seem to still be the gems and i think that's going to continue because as time goes on you know look these cars are getting older and if they're survivors you know it's it's uh these are going to be the desirable cars to get because they're only original ones um you know so you just got to be careful though because there's a lot of scam with stuff like that and and art and and sellers know the golden words when they launch these cars online say if it's not bring a trailer say if it's ebay or craigslist or even a facebook group or the samba or something like that where it's free to list uh well it's not free on ebay but you know there's no vetting there there's no questions and answers before you launch on the site uh, you know, you, you constantly see original, original, quote unquote, this is all original. Um, and I've spoken about this in past videos. All original, unrestored, you know, that's those sort of quotes. Low mile, 26,000, say original miles, that sort of thing. Um, you know, and, and I've gotten called where I've, I've gone to see these show, uh, these cars if they're local, and you see that. You know, they say it's unrestored, and yet I see overspray paint on the seals or on the felt channels or on the chrome, um, and that's not unrestored now. It had It's had a paint job, so there's some form of restoration there, but when they tell you that it's never been painted, it's original paint, you know, that sort of thing, you got to really be careful, and if you're buying it sight unseen and you're buying it, say, across the, sta uh, the states, and you're not going to go see it, you're going to just have it shipped in, you take the guy's word for it, uh, you know, it's it's a really uh, it's a scary situation sometimes, and these guys try to capitalize on those words. I see more unrestored cars and original examples across, you know, the the internet platform, and it's like, you know, they're supposed to be so rare, but you see you see those uh, ads up all the time. So you got to really be careful and do your homework, ask the right questions, uh, just because, um, you know, and when it comes to mileage, you know. They gotta back up the mileage, you know. If, if this, I know that's tough to to, to, to get sometimes, because uh, not many people, you know, back up all their mileage, you know, with, you know, where they're going or how many times they're filling up their gas or whatever the case may be. Uh, but it's a, a dead indicator that the mileage is not true. Is anything really under? I would say under a hundred thousand miles. That, you know, when you do an end play check on a Beetle and you grab that crank pulley and you're pushing and pulling in and out really should have very very minimal uh, uh, clunking sound and if you grab that and you hear clunk 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 and they're saying oh it's 30,000 original miles yeah you know that's tough man that's tough to swallow and I've gotten caught I've had a guy shush me off his property because he was trying to shove that down my throat that he had a 30,000 original mile 1960 Beetle that we went to go see locally and I grabbed that crank pulley and I was pushing and pulling in and out and I heard that clunk, 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 and that guy's eyes just like blew up, and he knew I, I caught him. <laughs> and he was like, "All right, all right, get out of here, get out of here. I don't want to deal with you know." And because I was catching him all in his lies, I mean, he's really just trying to pull the wool over my head. So, you know, be extra careful with stuff like that, guys. But it, when they are legit, I mean, they're, they're going for crazy money, man. I mean, it's uh, it's incredible stuff. So, uh, but that was a crazy auction. So, uh, on that '79. And uh, moving on, I saw a really cool article by, um, I think it was Road and Track, Road and Track magazine. I'll have the link in the description below. They interviewed uh, Wayne Carini uh, about the best uh, pre- and post-war built cars. And uh, I met him twice. Uh, I've gotten into a couple concourses with some of my past Beatles and, uh, at the Greenwich Concourse, Greenwich, Connecticut Concourse d'Elegance. So a few years ago, I got in with a, a few of my split windows that I got in, and uh, I met him a, a few times. He's actually judged one of my con uh, cars at a concourse, which was kind of scary, you know, but it was cool. Uh, they used to have a Fairfield, Connecticut concourse at Legons, and he was a judge there, and he judged uh, a 55 ragtop that I got in at one time. And a uh, cool guy, and he's got a show, if you don't know, if the guys around the world, uh, he's got a show called Chasing Classic Cars on the Velocity Channel which is associated with Discovery. Um, and they interviewed him about the uh, the best built pre-war and best built post-war. So his pre-war cars, of course, um, you know, Beetle really wasn't around uh, then. It was pretty much during the war when they started building the Beetle uh, with the Nazis. 
but he said uh, his bet. I think the Bentleys were one of the best built cars. And then, of course, hell yeah, he says uh, best built post-war cars was the Beetle. And I'm like, hell yeah, that's really cool to hear. Uh, he said it's just simple to work on, fun to drive, and he says they're they're unbreakable, man. You know, he said you can beat the hell out of them pretty much, and you know they they survive. Uh, so very cool to hear that from Wayne Carini. Thanks, Wayne. Uh, that's a good uh, feather in the Volkswagen community cap, man. Um, good to know and good to hear it from somebody like that that's been in the car world for, geez, I don't know, man, eons. His family's been, was in cars and restoring cars and racing cars. So, uh, and he's got a great show that's been out, I think, for a good 10 years now. So, uh, really cool to, to hear that. So, and that's it, guys. Uh, that's what I'm here to talk about. It was uh, all about my Treffen today and the, the Beetle that went across uh, that auction block. And, uh, yeah, Wayne Carini saying, hey, you know. If you guys also saw, I, I did a uh, final video of uh, Mike's uh, 56 oval window ragtop. I did a nice pose video. And uh, I always do those videos. I've been doing those videos for years uh, where when the car is completely finished, I throw it down in a good backdrop. Uh, location right by me here and we show basically the glory of the car you know the the car posing in the Sun in its final uh, uh, restored state uh, and then I, I ship it off to the client and it's something that they can have so whenever you know somebody has us build them a bug which is part of my build a bug program they then have that video for reference and of course they get the good coffee table style book that I make for everybody um, so, but check out that, that, that video. Again, it was painted in that evergreen metallic that everyone seems to love, man. I think that's like the third or fourth time I've done that color. And every time I do that color, I get more people that will sign on that want that color. Uh, so, a uh, very, very nice uh, restoration that came out. 56 oval window rag top. Went back bone stock for the guy. And we put the, uh, the beige tweed interior. Of course, two-tone with the brown vinyl. Definitely check that out. I thought that was a pretty cool video uh, that I put together. So it was the first time I shot. It was one of the first videos I shot. If you're into tech and my filmmaking uh, um, uh, gear and stuff, I shot that video 120 frames per second, 125 frames per second. Um, so I had some some slow mo uh, sections there, and I never used to. I have never shot that speed before. I always shot you know 60. 60 frames per second um, if you technical geeks want to hear that but <laughs> sorry if you don't uh, so but check that out his, his car came out awesome so and uh, yeah we're moving on to the next project so I got three cars next week that I'm media blasting and I'll probably have some videos of that and uh, you get to check that out so uh, I'll probably uh, see you guys in a couple weeks um, like I said I'm doing kind of a digital detox this month and uh, getting off uh, some of the social stuff just because we're just so loaded up with work and uh yeah just gotta work on my cars all right guys chris from classic vwbugs.com i hope you enjoyed that vlog vlog number 15 in the bag september 27 2019 and we are out have a great weekend bye <laughs>